Hi, this is Kimball Bullington, and this is a tutorial for creating cause and effect diagrams in Excel. I have opened a blank spreadsheet. I'm going to uh, change the page layout to uh, landscape and change the view to a page layout just because it, it helps in the way we see it. And then we begin to build. So we insert shapes and we insert an arrow and I go down here and try to draw a straight arrow and once I have that arrow I want to um, format it so it looks a little bit better so we go over here to width and width we'll go up to uh, three weight and color is black so we have the trunk line of our cause and effect diagram I also want to insert some uh, category lines so go back, insert arrows, and um, I draw in some arrows at approximately a 45 degree angle. Uh, one, two, three wide, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that works uh, pretty well for uh, 45, nine high by three wide. Let's format this, uh, and I'm going to format it just slightly less thick so two and a half weight we'll change the color there and so we have our category uh, line the first one and we want to copy this paste paste actually want to do this three times and so the first one I'll move to here we're keeping a three cell separation here and then this one to here. I'm going to truncate uh, the main the main line here. And this one I'm going to um, well I need to spin it around. So we'll we'll move it up intersecting here and make it three right wide one two three one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it should be pretty close to symmetrical. So I copy this, paste, paste, and I have uh, my cause and effect diagram skeleton, the skeleton of the fish bones, called a fish bone diagram, also called an Ishikawa diagram. We also need to insert some text boxes so we can label our our categories and our cause categories and so I will call the first one manpower now uh, we need to we need to format this and uh, I'm going to select no line actually that was my default and I'll come back in here and change the uh, font let's make it a 12 point uh, depends on your your presentation you want it to be large enough to see and then you can change the uh, font uh, you can go with a sort of standard Times New Roman or something different uh, I went with the Tahoma here and now once you have um, the text box the way you like then you copy it and you paste it and I'm going to paste it around my diagram and we'll come back and edit these labels now this one out here the um, I may want to make it even a little bit bigger Bold. I'm going to go with, with uh, Tahoma and um, on each one of these it looks like I, I lost my font uh, for some reason or other because I wanted I wanted that Tahoma and I, I didn't end up doing it so I have to, to uh, I guess I didn't do it over here no I lost it here so if you if you copied that in the first place, I just wasn't careful enough, um, then you, you wouldn't have to just keep 
uh, editing that. But let's change these uh, methods. And here we're going to make this um, materials. And again, I'm going to change the font just real quickly. Measurements. Make this one machines. Um, if equipment works better for you, then do that. Um, I like to have students start with um, these these uh, six sort of traditional cause categories, and then see what happens. Uh, see, does it does it make sense? Do they make sense, or should you? Um, uh, edit them, change them in some ways. But I, I don't like the idea of just doing them. Um, sorry. Just a random set of, of categories. Now, uh, this, this one is typically called Mother Nature. And so we have six categories that start with the letter M. Uh, it's just a little bit easy to remember that way. Now, this particular one, I don't like this one. And I, I use uh, environment instead of Mother Nature. The reason why I do that is when people say Mother Nature, they just think of, um, of um, sustainability, uh, recycling, issues like that. We say environment, then we can think of um, cultural environment, political environment, economic environment, social environment, and so on. You may rather have people instead of manpower or processes instead of um, um, methods. You may want equipment here. Information. If you're not uh, producing a tangible good, you may rather have information here. So we've created a cause and effect diagram with classic categories. In a future video, we'll talk about how you use this. Uh, we can certainly insert uh, other um, arrows to create um, uh, subcategories. And so this is the basic format of a cause and effect diagram. Thank you.